Well, the first thing you need to know, health officials believe this is an uncontagious fungal form of meningitis that's unrelated to the recent meningitis death at MTSU. Instead, these 11 identified cases all trace back to a procedure at a St. Thomas outpatient clinic that may have been tainted by mold. Under a microscope, aspergillus doesn't appear dangerous, but health officials believe this mold may play a role in two deaths. This is a very, very unusual event, and let me stress, a very unusual event. Tennessee Health Commissioner Dr. John Dreisner says the mold is one suspect in a meningitis outbreak that's infected at least 11 people in Tennessee. All of them received an epidural steroid injection at the St. Thomas Outpatient Neurosurgery Center. One theory is this mold somehow contaminated the procedure. When you take a bacteria or, or a fungus and, you, and it's physically, you know, somehow placed uh, in a normal, normally sterile space um, with particular situations, it can, it can wreak real havoc. Um, and, and, and that may be what has occurred in this situation. Commissioner Dreisner says an unnamed out-of-state company prepared all of those steroid injections. The Center for Disease Control is now investigating what happened, and it's believed the number of infected patients could rise not only here in Tennessee, but in more than a dozen states where this company ships injections. We certainly uh, uh, wish that everyone uh, would recover, and we certainly wish that we will identify no more cases, and, and God willing, that will be the case. Um, but uh, we have to be realistic. One reason why those numbers could grow in Tennessee, some 737 people underwent this procedure during the July 30th through September 20th time frame that's a concern. St. Thomas has notified all of them to be alert for symptoms, and the hospital released this statement saying, our first concern is maintaining our commitment to ensuring the safety of our patients, and our thoughts and prayers are with those impacted patients and their families. Now St. Thomas has temporarily shut down the outpatient facility. We're told all of the injections in question have been confiscated. Also there's a team of specialists that are working to determine what's the best way to treat these people who are now part of this outbreak. Sky Arnold, Fox 17 News.